what did health look like uh, before hiring a personal trainer and, and, and interviewing other trainers? And what made you decide to hire a personal trainer rather than say, just join up to a gym or looking at YouTube videos, for instance? Mm. Uh, so many things. So my fitness story starts with, there's no fitness. <laughs> <laughs> Never too late. <laughs> and I was one of those people, you know, yeah, I'd been to a gym a few times. I'd done some running as well, just for myself, but I was never consistent with that. And I'd be one of those people who would be like, yeah, I'm going to go to a gym. Oh uh, yeah, I need to exercise. Oh, it's good for my health. And I've spent over two decades saying that. So the reality is if somebody is saying that for two decades, it's not something that's serious whatsoever. It's just like daydreaming. I was actually wasting people's time even sharing what I wanted to do with my fitness because I had no intention of fulfilling on that. Because what I came to realize was that I really didn't care about fitness connected to my health. So we normally associate fitness to health. You know, we should exercise to be healthy. If I was to be honest with myself, I'm 39 now, so we met when I was 37, I believe, I couldn't care less. In my head, I think I'm okay. I've got time not to, I've got time to avoid being fit. That's how it really was for me. But that's not how I said it to myself. But how I'd say it to myself would be like, you know, um, I, I need to get fit at some stage. But in reality, I'm like, nah, I've got time to be fit. But it all hit ahead when I started writing my book because what I'm passionate about is sharing my mission and my, my passion. And you know, my mission is to inspire and empower all people to dream, forge their own path and be the leaders in their life. And so when I started dreaming about being on a global tour, going from country to country, city to city, I was like, I would be able to do this. I'm not fit. So my dream of sharing the message of inspiring people showed me that there was a huge gap, a huge gap. <laughs> and mm. if I was to fulfill that, that goal, that dream, I had to do something about it now. And we started our journey three years ago. So I've been preparing this three years in advance, you know, because I was like, I, I, it's not going to happen overnight. I'm starting from beyond, below zero. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so once I was very clear that I needed to bridge this gap in my health and fitness, I started interviewing personal trainers. I wasn't going to go to the gym. I'm too noisy for me. And I'm also autistic. So there were a few things that's going on. I'm, I'm autistic. Um, so loud sound, you know, the booming of the music wasn't going to work for me. Um, uh, Self-motivation isn't going to cut it for me. I've tried that um, as well. Uh, I was also looking for somebody who was up to stuff as well. And so when I interviewed you, you're up to stuff. <laughs> you, <laughs> you, you were so varied in your life and the conversations that we were having. And to note, you were, we're not necessarily having deep and meaningful conversations while training, but we started over time, we started having breakfast together as well. And in between the rest periods, every conversation built me up in essence. So having a personal trainer was about discipline, um, accountability and feeling great and that's how you made me feel and the difference that made as you know was beyond um, it's unimaginable because the first thing one of the first things I learned about myself was you showed me I had this conversation in my head of I'm weak I'm weak I can't I can't as you know I think for perhaps the first six months you'd say do this and I'm like I can't I can't. <laughs> and you ignored all. <laughs> or maybe, maybe I said it to you, or maybe it was in my head. I can't remember which now. No, I definitely, definitely heard loud. a lot of that. <laughs> <laughs> but you showed me that I'm strong. So, you know, you showed me I could. And you, you taught me about my body and being connected to my body in a way, 
you know, that I'd never thought was possible. So today that whole conversation of I'm weak has disappeared. I, I'm strong. I know I'm strong today. Um, so that was life changing um, to, 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 to be on this journey. But for me, I think what was critical is it wasn't just any personal trainer. It was a personal trainer who, um, like, look at you, you're doing this podcast, you write a newsletter, you know, you're doing, you're training for the weightlifting Olympics. All of that was inspiring for me. <laughs> you started your own business. So I felt like I was growing with you and also being a witness to somebody who was before me, not, not just in fitness, but in other things in life. And I could grow with that. I could be inspired by that, you know? Um, so that was really important for me. Yeah. Yeah. I, I, I remember there was such a, um, a sort of huge moment, like throughout the journey, especially between the six and 12 month mark, where we started to really make progress, um, more so in your sort of what you were saying to yourself, um, obviously like the, I think the physical part was more of a secondary thing, at least in my eyes. I, mean, I think it, for you, it might've been primary initially, but I knew that we, we had a lot more sort of deeper work to sort of go through. Um, but we, and I had to sort of con condition that for, for your, for your mind and for, for your body. 